is Eric from George's Music and happening throughout all our George's Music retail locations this weekend is Guitar 101 and Ukulele 101 classes for our George's Music customers. Check out your local George's Music store for the times that these are actually going to be given in the store. These classes are actually geared towards the beginner and what they're going to do is show you how to play the most popular chords, how to tune your instrument, how to hold your instrument, care and maintenance, and much more. Seating is limited, so sign up now to reserve your spot. And to help the guitar players get off uh, to a good start, I'm going to show you one popular chord. And in just a few moments, I'm going to show our ukulele players a popular chord as well. And if you can get these under your fingers by the uh, time the classes start, you'll be way ahead of everybody. Okay, for our guitar players, what we need to uh, do is just get a quick basic down. On our left hand, and if you're left-handed, this will be completely opposite. On our left hand, fretting hand, we've got our index, our middle, our ring, and our pinky. And they're numbered one, two, three, and four. And the strings are numbered in sequence. So it would be six, five, four, three, two, one. Six being the heaviest string or the thickest string, and one being the thinnest, the one string that's actually closest to the floor. A lot of times players will refer to this as the high string because it's pitch, and this string is the low because it has a lower pitch. So what we want to do is we're going to try our first chord. It's going to be a D major chord. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our first finger, which is our index finger, we're going to put it at the second fret. And the second fret is found, uh, when you look at the guitar, you'll see these silver or nickel uh, frets that are uh, running uh, vertical here. What we have to do is to take our first finger and put it at the second fret uh, on the third string. So no matter how you count it, six, five, four, three, or if you count from the thin string, one, two, three, however you want to do it, it's going to be on the third string. We're going to take our second finger, which is our middle finger, and we're actually going to place that also at the second fret, but we're going to place that at the, uh, on the high E string or the number one string. So if you notice that both these fingers are in the same fret region, one's on the third string and one's on the first string. And then the last finger, our number three finger, or uh, what we call the ring finger, is actually going to go at the third fret on the second string. Some players may know that also as the B string. So I've got my first finger at the second fret on the third string. It's, sounds confusing, right? I've got my second finger at the second fret on the high string, which is the first string. And now I've got my third finger at the third fret on the second string. And the great thing about this chord is after you arch your fingers, you're just going to play the top four strings. And everyone's like, well, the top four strings are down here. Well, not really. What we mean by top strings is we want the high pitch to happen. So we want to let this fourth string ring open. We're going to press down our fingers one, two, and three. We're going to get our first chord, which is actually called the D major chord. You can actually just sit around and just have fun playing that chord. All right, so that's our first chord that uh, you can get under your belt before attending any of our classes. And now on to the ukulele players. And for our ukulele players, uh, I'm going to show you a really quick popular chord. Uh, the first thing is just how to hold it properly, is I want to uh, kind of prop it up on my left leg, kind of wedge it against my right leg just so it's supported. I've got my uh, bottom of my forearm, I kind of rest it on the top of the instrument just to kind of keep it in place. Again, the uh, fingers are named the same as with guitar, so it's one, two, three, four, or index, middle, ring, and pinky. And this one's going to be really easy because I'm just going to use one finger. I'm going to use my third finger. I'm going to put it at the third fret on the top string, which would be again, four, three, two, one. So it's at the, on the first string at the third fret. And I'm just using one finger and I'm going to just strum the strings lightly. And I've got my first chord, which is a C major chord. So again, a simple chord like that plus a few more will get our Ukulele 101 players happening and playing together uh, right away at one of our classes. And that's it for me, Eric from George's Music. Hope to see you this weekend at one of our George's Music retail locations for our Guitar 101 or Ukulele 101 classes.